Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to tell you the five things that I hate about this 2022 KLR 650 Adventure. Y'all stick around. Okay, maybe hate was a strong word to use, but don't get me wrong, I love this bike for what its intended purpose is, but I think there's a couple things that could have been done maybe just a little bit better, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click the subscribe button, also click that bell notification button, that way you're notified whenever I upload my next video. In one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to talk about the things that I do really like about this KLR 650 Adventure. So I've owned this motorcycle since last year, and just now yesterday I made time to run out to the Washtenaw National Forest and, and really ride for a couple hours and figure out what this bike is all about. So in doing that, this is whenever I started having ideas for this video. I wanted to do this video like as soon as I purchased the bike, but honestly, the bike is set right here in my garage. I just haven't had time to ride. Um, so anyway, let's talk about the five things that I don't really care for on the KLR 650 Adventure. The first thing is this windscreen. Now, I learned yesterday on the highway, this thing is pretty much useless. It, it may keep the wind off of your chest whenever you're riding, but the helmet buffeting was so bad that, man, you know, I just wasn't expecting that. So I'm going to end up putting a taller windscreen on this bike. The second thing that I wish this KLR had was a gear indicator. Now it's got this really nice display up here that gives you your speedometer and your fuel level and all that stuff, but I think it would have been a nice addition to put a gear indicator on there. I know that may sound petty, but coming from my street glass special over here, like it's just nice to be able to glance down and look, oh, I'm in this gear. And I'm sure over time after riding this bike more frequently, I'll just know what gear I'm in. But like I said, I just think it would have been nice if Kawasaki would have thrown that in there. Thing number three, you have to have the key to be able to open your side bags here. Now, I say that, my complaint is, is you have to put the key in and leave the key in in order to access the contents of your bags. You can't just unlock it and pull the key out. So, to me, it would have been nice if you could lock and unlock and that way you didn't have to you know fiddle with your key and trying to get into your bags thing number four to me yesterday riding this bike on the highway it felt really underpowered now i understand that i'm coming from 110 cubic inch harley davidson back here and i haven't ridden dirt bikes in years that being said i knew that this wasn't going to be the fastest bike and then after making this purchase i learned that the klr is basically a jack of all trades and master of none basically it's capable of a lot of things but it's not really great at anything and so yes it got me up and down the highway but it wasn't like lightning speed or anything it wasn't as torquey as i thought it was going to be and, and i get that you know it's just a dirt bike it's only 650 cc's and yeah i may be asking too much out of it but it's just a lot less than what I was expecting I was going to be getting. That being said, this thing did awesome out on the dirt roads. So I'll talk about this in my next video is basically that there's a reason why I want the KLR as far as like weight versus, you know, the price and, you know, the engine. But I basically wanted something that was good enough to go on the highway, but light enough whenever I was out in the National Forest. Thing number five, it kind of goes along with thing number four that I talked about. But yesterday when I got out on the highway, like I was saying, you know, there was a lot of vibration in the handlebars. I really think it would have been beneficial to have a six gear on this bike. It's, it's only a five speed, but had they had another gear, I really think that that would have helped out to make a smoother highway ride. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video for us. If you yourself on a 2022 Kawasaki KLR 650, I want to know your opinion down in the comment section below. Did I cover everything? Was I right about the things that I pointed out? Was I wrong? Would you have said something different? Like I said, drop a comment down below and let me know. If you like this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button. And if you've got a moment, 
go check out some of my other videos. I've got motorcycle instruction videos. I've got motorcycle travel videos. I've even got a playlist of where I rode the Sturgis back in 2020. As always, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all ride safe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm.